episode of the genius kids where we get to sit down and pick the brains of some zimbabwe's amazing and intelligent kids i'm your host eh, the chief air marshal your kids your amazing kids the intelligent ones you know so on today's episode um, um, we have a young man who is only 12 years old and he knows a lot about cars you know more than many people of his age group not only of his age group even mama dara jaja and all of us here in the studio you know <laughs> right now without wasting much of your time you know let's hear from the man himself welcome to the genus kids my brother aiden how are you i'm good and you i'm good i'm good i'm good good to see you good to see you too finally mm -hmm. you know i've been looking for you for quite some time you know it's been like I, I don't know i've been asking my crew to look for you to say okay guys i'm looking for this guy i'm looking for this young man here you know and finally i'm, I'm happy to be you know sitting right next to you right now yeah. How are you feeling to be part of the show? Good. Um, I'm feeling good because this is actually my first interview. It's your first interview? Yes. Really? Yes. Wow, that's amazing. So, yes, this is what we do, guys. We give you the first and the best, you know, <laughs> on your favorite podcast here, all the seven podcasts here. So, on your way here, I know you love cars. Yeah. Um, on your way here, you know, what type of a car, you know, was your mom driving? Um, she was driving a Jeep Grand Cherokee Overland 2020 Sea Blue with a 3 liter engine. 3 liter engine? A V6. V6, wow! <laughs> Some of you guys you just drive those cars but you don't even know the liters, you don't even know, you know nothing. But anyway, he's going to teach us, you know, it's not like I do, I, it's not like I, like I know everything. He'll be teaching me as well to Ola. This is the best car for you, you know. After the interview, I'm sure I'll, I'm going to choose a, a new car, not the one I'm driving. Anyways, it's okay. So we've been looking for you, I, I mean, at your, at, at your um, Instagram, and you've been, you know, doing great. Uh, so what's your favorite car? Uh, my favorite car is a 2023 mm -hmm. E63 Nightshade, first edition. E63? Yes. Wow. Ninth edition. N night, Nightshade edition, last edition. Oh, the last because edition. Because now that I'm... Um, yeah, in the, yeah, in all the countries, how how the gas is changing, a lot of things in the air, mm -hmm. how it's changing to electric. That's why they named this Benz last edition. Oh, I see, I see, I see. So how is it different from any other, you know, uh, vehicles like the other Benz? Because this is the last one with the 6.3 litre engine, mm -hmm. which is a very powerful engine. Wow. But honestly, in the last few years, the engines on the AMGs have been changing. Mm -hmm. But I still really love the engine that mm. they have now. Okay. So before we you know, dive into your love for the cars, tell us a bit about yourself. We want to know who is Aiden. Tell us everything about you, your profile. So, um, as you know, my name is Aiden Ogwechi. So Ogwechi? I, yes. Okay. And so my mom's Zimbabwe, my dad's Nigerian. I've just finished um, primary school mm -hmm. and I'm on my way to high school. Wow, that's powerful. So have you been to Nigeria? Yes. How many times? Uh, too many times, I can't even count. <laughs> so is your dad here in Zimbabwe? No, he's <laughs> in Nigeria on a business project. Oh, business. Yes. Oh, nice. So you guys are millionaires, right? Yeah. You guys are rich. I wouldn't say that. <laughs> I wouldn't say that. Okay, that's fine. That's Aiden Agwechi Ogwechi. Yes. Ogwechi on the Ola 7 podcast here. So, what's your favorite subject, you know, if I may ask, at school? Uh, because, you know, I know at school they don't teach about cars and whatnot. Yes. Hmm. My favorite subject is science and history. Mm -hmm. The reason I love science is because I also learn things about cars, mm -hmm. feel, and energy sources in science. And then in history, I get to learn things about my country and mm -hmm. other countries. Mm -hmm. Okay. That's you know, like the history, uh, give me a bit of your know, history, I mean, what you've learned in school. Like, um, we were recently doing the history on Loben Gula, mm -hmm. the king, the, Dembe, the Debele warrior. Yeah. He moved from South Africa to come here, and then he started his territory, uh, and he got into um, 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 a war with the white people who mm -hmm. came, from, came from the United Euro Kingdom. Yes. Mm -hmm. Then that's how they named this place Rhodesia. Oh, mm. oh, interesting. And then the Battle of Bembezi happened, where we now call it Victoria Falls. Victoria Falls. Yes. Yeah, 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 yeah. You know, spot on. You know, you guys, I'm sure, Magati uh, Sajkor, some of you, uh, <laughs> but this one is now teaching us, you know, what is learning 
from you know his school. Which school do you go to, by the way? Um, I'm, I was, I've just left primary school. I'm going to Peter House High School now. Uh -huh. Which school were you going to? Lafordia. Lafordia. Yes. Where is it? In Nyambira. In Nyambira. Yes. It's a boarding school. Yes. Oh, nice. So, you know, how many are you in your family? Because you know, I saw you have a little sister on Instagram. There's five of us, including me, mm -hmm. two older brothers, and two little sisters. Oh. Yes. So, how is the, how old is the Oldest one? One's 19, the other one's 18. My other sister's 11, one year younger than me. Mm -hmm. Then my sister that you've seen in my videos is eight. Mm. So obviously, you know, as someone uh, who knows cars, you know, as you do, uh, you've met celebs, I mean, which celebs have your favorite car? Honestly, that's a tough question. <laughs> I would say, here in Zimbabwe, I'll say Sewick so, now. His car collection is outstanding. Sewick so The now. Rolls Royce Cullinan, his Rolls Royce Ghost, yes. the Phantom and the Spectre on the way, uh -huh. his Maybach and his Range and so many more. <laughs> if I tell you all of that, we're going to be here yeah. all day. Yeah. And then in Nigeria, I'll say Davidio. Mm -hmm. Because uh, his car collection is crazy mm -hmm. with the Virgil Abloh Maybach. And, and that's actually a special edition. There's only 150 of them. Oh. And a letter from Virgil Abloh. Mm -hmm. Then he has two Rolls Royce Clinton's mm -hmm. and a Lamborghini Aventador Altima. Wow. Wow. That's amazing. The G Wagon. Ah, okay, we're going to talk about the cars, you know, later on. I want to know the difference between these cars, the horsepowers, and everything. I want you to, you know, to school me on that one. So, in Zim, uh, who has the nicest car that you know? I've already answered the question. It's so Sewigno so only. Sewigno so wins this competition. Only? No one else? Also, Boss Kangara, he has some cars on the way. Oh, you've been to his place? Yes. Yo. I, I, I saw him on Instagram recently. He bought another like, new uh, one. A McLaren Atura uh -huh. and a G63, um, a special edition with uh -huh. Maybach rims, mm -hmm. and then a BMW 7 Series and a Maybach JLS 600. All ka one? Yes. Jeez. So he's rich, that guy. Yes, he used to have a McLaren uh -huh. um, 7, 20 years, but then he sold it. Ooh. So that's like a budget of how much? Roughly. The Maybach. 500,000 mm -hmm. US dollars. Mm -hmm. Then we have the McLaren, we're speaking like 300. And then we have the BMW 7 Series, like 200. Hmm. Mm. So, say about a million dollars? Yes, uh, roughly around the above that a bit. Hey, so these guys are rich guys. Including They're spending like a million on vehicles and these nice cars. Including duty and stuff. Uh, including duty yes, on the run. duty for the car, you'd spend like another. 100,000 for the oh. car that's above like 500,000. Yeah, that's too much. So tell me about your, you know, your, your top five cars. If I was going to have a top five cars, the first car I'd get was a Lamborghini Urus, mm -hmm. Urus S, and then a G63. Um, then I'd get a BMW 7 Series and a Maybach and a E63S mm -hmm. Final Edition. Final edition. Yes. So why those top five? First of all, the Urus is comfortable and it has the Lamborghini powerful V8 4 liter engine. Then I'll pick the BMW 7 Series because it has a TV in the back. I mm. can watch Netflix, YouTube and stuff from that. Then the Maybach, it has aerodynamic suspension that mm -hmm. makes it bounce. Okay. And it's also a very comfortable car. Mm -hmm. And then the G63 is just a whole other planet with this four liter bi mm. V8 engine with the six with um the 63 the mm -hmm. 63 is just something else and then finally the last part that i really love the e63s nightshade 2023 mm -hmm. final edition it's amazing man yes. i'm learning i don't even know i've never been to into that you know uh seven series maybe what what ah guys and he's been like you know so do you drive yes i can drive my brother's teach me how to drive. Mm -hmm. um, like, um, we drive in, on private property sometimes. Oh, sometimes, yes. not on the roads. Not on the roads. <laughs> because not allowed. Yes. <laughs> I see. <laughs> so do you only like uh, cars? Um, it was at one point, I know, I, I, I saw you were coming from Nigeria. You did you know, a profile um, of a cockpit in an airplane, you know? Uh, do you want to be a pilot someday? Uh, or it was just a profile? It was just a profile. So. Basically, I don't just do cars. I do lifestyle and entertainment. Mm -hmm. 
lifestyle and entertainment. In that, uh, entertainment. Oh, like I I'm see. about to introduce a, um, a series mm -hmm. of speaking Bible verses oh. and also speaking about watches. Watches. Mm -hmm. tell, me, tell me a bit about, about watches. Um, so there's um, so the series that is coming up, I will just tell you a little sneak peek. Mm -hmm. I'm going to be mentioning three Rolexes. Three Rolexes? Yes. Hey. Guys. The value above like, what, 200,000 US dollars. 200,000? Yes. Just a watch? Yes. Same price with that, uh, which car? The three BMW series or G-Wagon. A G-Wagon? Or the East K3. So you'll be like wearing a G-Wagon? <laughs> <laughs> like some people in the world around you, like Elon Musk, he has a, four, a $28 million watch, a, Jay, a uh, Jacob & Co. watch uh -huh. that's covered in emerald diamonds. Emerald? Most people, yeah, just, guy is most rich, people just buy Rolexes to use it as a flex and uh -huh. they can't even tell the time, so they have an upper watch on that. Oh. <laughs> but for the way, just. Just. Oh. Spent like a hundred thousand dollars on just one watch. One watch? Ah, I can do that. If I get a five dollar watch, it's fine. I'm, I'm okay. Five dollar yeah. watch, it's fine. That's <laughs> all the time. <laughs> yeah. Also, the thing about watches is that you can invest into them. Let's say last week you'd buy a watch for two hundred thousand. Mm -hmm. Wait for one year, you can sell it for five hundred. Five hundred. Mm -hmm. mm. Yeah. Guys. Because, like it's like cars. Value decreases the more you drive it. Mm. But with the watch, the more you wear it, in the longer you keep it. Value exceeds. Oh, but why is that so? Because um, the watches will become rare. Mm -hmm. Like, people won't be taking care of it. Like, mm -hmm. it won't be getting used properly. Mm -hmm. So then there'll only be like uh, hundreds in the world. And then that's how the price goes up. Mm, now I understand. Okay. So let's talk about uh, burnouts. Have you been to burnouts? Yes. And uh, what do you like about, about uh, you know, burnouts? Burnouts is just me, I like speed and adrenaline. Mm -hmm. Burnout is just a nice place to go and calm your mood with the smelling of the rubber tires. It just, the sp it's just the things there is amazing. Yeah. With the BMW spinning, the uh -huh. Mercedes Benz. Yeah. Yes. <laughs> so if I may ask, is it what type of uh, what type of cars you know do people drive at uh, burnouts? Yes. So basically, at Burnout, it's not your ordinary Toyota Aqua with a two-liter engine. Mm -hmm. At Burnout, you either have like a Mercedes Benz mm -hmm. with um with a like 600 horsepower engine. Actually, know a person who brings his car to Burnout. Mm -hmm. He he upgraded it from 600 horsepower to 1,000 horsepower, Ooh. and he told me he spent more than 60,000 upgrading the uh, engine uh, and stuff. Uh, 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 uh. That's powerful, he man. He has three of them. Three of them now. Yes, he has two 2019 ones and one. 2017. Mm -hmm. Just for the burnout? Yes. But that's, an, that's an expensive car. I feel like those guys are, will be damaging those guys or destroying them. He, if you use the car properly mm -hmm. and have your, your special tires, it's fine. It's fine? Mm -hmm. mm, okay. Like, there was a time he took me for spinning in the 1000 horsepower one. He, he, he was using Michelin tires and mm -hmm. Michelin tires are meant for racing. So he had made a mistake. Oh, the, the Michelin tires are meant for racing. Six. So, so you don't have did, to use, you he know. He only did two spins in Got out. Oh. But then his other 2017 E63, that one spins. Mm -hmm. mm, yeah. So, you know, can you tell us the difference between an ordinary car and, you know, those ones for, you know, used for burnouts? So, um, an ordinary car may have a two liter engine. Mm -hmm. Burnouts, we're talking like six liter, five liter engine, the mm -hmm. BMs. Those BMs just have engines that are made just specially for the car mm -hmm. and the differential um, on the car. Mm -hmm. Okay. So how do you balance uh, school work, you know, car profiling and traveling? Of uh, course, uh, that's too much for you, you know, for someone uh, so, of your age. So that's actually a reason why I go to boarding school. Mm -hmm. Week is for studying school work. Weekends are for car videos and also studying for my exams and mm -hmm. stuff. And then holidays are for traveling or like half terms are for traveling mm -hmm. in the country. Mm. Oh, so you just, you know, you, you create time for everything. You yes. create time for everything. Okay, that's great. So looking at your Instagram, uh, Aiden, you know, you are very biased. <laughs> How come you don't provide a whole feed, wish, run next? You know, of course, these are, you know, the type of cars that we uh, afford, you know, <laughs> and like, drive. 
like you see, most people ask me, Aiden, what cars can you buy like with this budget, blah, blah, blah. Exactly. So I'm actually in introducing a car series of Zimbabwean cars. Mm -hmm. So I've, I don't know if you've seen on my page, but I have done a review on a Toyota Hires mm -hmm. Kombi. Oh. Yes. Toyota Hires. Yes, because... I just mostly do those, those kind of videos, mm -hmm. videos that people don't expect in the random. Yes, yes. Even a Mini Cooper? Yes. Uh, <laughs> have you done one? Not yet, but I'm planning on doing one maybe this holiday. Mm -hmm. Okay, that's fine. So uh, would you like to be a brand ambassador you know, for some luxury cars in Zimbabwe? Like, let's say, Zimoko, and do you know, uh, I mean, what a brand ambassador does? Yes. You do know? Yes. Okay, so which one? So honestly, if I had to pick a company here, yeah, I'd go for Zimoko because mm -hmm. Mercedes Benz is something that I've loved for such a long time. Mm -hmm. So what would you like to say to the, you know, Zimoko guys? I know they're watching. Honestly, if if you if I can be a brand ambassador, that would be something I really love because I really love your your cars. Mm. Mm -hmm. So give them a reason why they should hire you as their brand ambassador. Because I can bring you more customers and people who are looking for new Mercedes and I can also just help you with your brand to improve it in the Instagram society. Oh, wow, wow, wow. And that's uh, really amazing, guys, from Aiden Wadina Epano. On this All of Seven podcast show, the genius kids, yeah. So let's say they, uh, they hire you as their brand ambassador, Ku uh, Zimoko. Which car would you like, okay, push first on your page? Say, guys, I'm encouraging everyone to come and buy this car. I'd push the GT53 AMG that they have over there. They have it over there? Yes, a blue one. Mm -hmm. It's actually here in Granite Side at the main, mm -hmm. at the main shop. Oh, yes. wow, that's, that's fantastic. So do you, I mean, I want to know, um, uh, sometimes when you're driving at home, You'll be like with your, your brother? Older brothers. Older brothers, they teach you. So sometimes do you like tell them, you know, this is, I mean, the specs of the car or they tell you? I tell them the specs of the car. Because <laughs> my brothers just drive, they don't know, what, they don't know the thing about the cars. <laughs> so you know better than them. Okay. So if they maybe leave the car behind, would, would you maybe my, take it and, you know, run with it? Mm, only, only if I have permission to do something like that. But I'm not risking my life doing something stupid mm. like that. I'd rather have um, someone watching. Oh yeah, I like that. Mm. You know, I asked that question. I mean, intentionally, deliberately. I did so deliberately. I wanted to know, you know, mm. if you would do such. Because some of the people in the ghetto, you know, they would just take the car and go away. Then the next thing is like ah, an accident, you know. You see the car in half. Somewhere. You see? <laughs> so in Zimbabwe, we've got, um, uh, you know, go-karts uh, racing. Um, have you ever been to a go-kart race? Yeah, there's a place in Isli, Chapman Golf Club, that I go to mm -hmm. quite a lot just to enjoy myself and get stress off my head. Um, I go there and race and go cars. I really enjoy it. Like it's driving, basically. Mm -hmm. mm. Oh, nice. So where do you see yourself in the, I mean, uh, car profiling circles in the next years? Uh, because you'll be 21, maybe after 10 years from now. Honestly, I'll see myself working with big brands like BMW, mm -hmm. Range Rover, Mercedes. That's where I want to see myself driving these nice cars that I'm talking about mm -hmm. at this time. Mm -hmm. And what are you going to be doing this festive season? It's now Christmas time. You know, do you enjoy staying in Zimbabwe or Nigeria? Honestly, that's a tough question. Zimbabwe, yes, it's a very good country, but Nigeria is more advanced than this country. Mm -hmm. Like in Nigeria, let's say, you know how Honda feeds are very common here? Yes. In Nigeria, G-Wagons are way commoner than Honda feet. You can oh. see like 10 G-Wagons in less than 20 minutes. Really? Mm. Why is that so? It's just they that people in Nigeria have money because that's where the oil around the world comes from. We, they send it to um, America, then it gets done and then comes back to Nigeria and they sell it oh. worldwide. Oh, is, uh, oh, they're getting their money from oil? Yes. Wow, how did you know that? Because I like just doing research about stuff. Mm -hmm. mm. What, is I, what else are you researching on? 
I like so it's how it started with cars. Um, I started researching about cars like at the age of. 10 mm-hmm. I used to steal my mom's phone <laughs> and I'd go and like there's one phone my dad got and mm-hmm. so he I told him dad can I play a game on your phone yeah and then I said please can you take off the password because if I go to the bathroom the phone will switch off mm-hmm. and then every now and then I would go take the phone go lock the door in my room and go <laughs> read car stuff <laughs> That's really fun. So what would you like to say, you know, to other kids watching this program, the genius kids, you know, who want to, you know, start profiling cars like you do? Um, always chase your dreams. And just one thing, like you see me, I've struggled to where I am today. It took me a lot to convince my parents. Just let your parents know that the passion that you have so they can so they can be there and support you. I'd like to thank both of my parents because if it wasn't for them, I wouldn't be here today. Mm. Thank you. So how did you manage to convince your parents to... So it was actually my dad that I first convinced. I told him, Dad, I want to start this page Mm. about cars and do interviews with celebrities. Mm -hmm. And then my dad said to me, okay, let's try this. Mm -hmm. Then on a recent trip, on a trip last year to Nigeria in June, I met the actor Jim Ike. Mm -hmm. Oh, Jim Ike, I know Jim Ike. I did a small interview with him. Mm -hmm. And then I went to Nigeria and met a guy called Ola of Lagos, Mm -hmm. who has really been the main supporter of my page. Okay. Um, We did a video together, he Mm -hmm. posted it, and I went viral in Nigeria. Wow, wow. So the mom now was now really convinced. And then we, we got, I got my dad to convince my mom. Mm-hmm. Then your mom agreed? Yes. Ha! Huh. Who would say no to such? Everyone would say, okay, let's try it. And so how many followers do you have on your page? I now have 33.3. 33.3? Yes. So it's like you're the most followed youngster in Zimbabwe? Yes, basically. Basically. Oh, guys. <laughs> so, are you earning money out of it? Um, um, I have a few deals, mm-hmm. Brandon, endorsement deals that I may be starting quite soon. Mm-hmm. Quite soon. Because mm-hmm. now yeah, you're well known, so I'm sure you, you, you should be making money. You must be making money right now because, you know, everyone knows you. I was like, oh, I really want this guy to be on my show one day. You know, it's yes. quite an honor to be talking to you, uh, my brother. So yesterday, I mean last, I mean last time, I, I hosted someone on this uh, platform, and I asked her. Uh, her name is um, Darlin. So I asked Darlin, Darlin, what do you want to do when when you grow up? She said, I want to be the president of this country. I was like, Oh, they said I want to drop out of school and become the president. So what do you want to do? Um, honestly. Yeah, car profiling will still be a thing when, in the, like, in the next 10 years. Yeah. I'm obviously still going to do that. But the main thing I'm going to be focusing on is to become a car engineer and maybe create my own car brand. Wow, that's big. Now that's genius kids for you. That's big. That's like a big dream, not just, you know, just profiling, profiling. No, he's saying, I want to be a car engineer. Wow. Really? So do you know some, you know, bits and pieces of, about engineering? Um, so actually, now that it's electric cars, I want to actually, when I get older, I want to push the fastest electric mm-hmm. car when I get older mm-hmm. to beat all the worldwide records. I don't think you should wait until you get old. You can start something now. Look at Zuckerberg. Started when he's young. But look, he's making money. He's doing wonders. Like, yeah, right? Um, there's this go kart that I made at home. Mm-hmm. So it was from the from the the garden thing, mm-hmm. the lawnmower. Yes. I took the engine out of it, mm-hmm. got a battery, and got um my lo- my um what's it called the the lawnmower the the lawnmower, mm-hmm. and then I made like a base with a cardboard, mm-hmm. and then I made a seat for myself, uh-huh. and then. It didn't really work. Let's just say after a few hours, it kind of caught on fire. Yeah. <laughs> after some few hours? Yes. Ooh, uh, and how did you explain that to, you, to your parents? Uh, let's just say that we had some water close by, so through water bucket cooking. Because <laughs> turns out one of the cables hadn't been linked properly. Oh, yes. so are you going to try one more time? Uh, maybe try... Um, um, make something when I've 
studied more about mm -hmm. engineering. Mm, I see. I, I, I love the dream. I love it. So, guys, I'm talking to you, um, Aiden here on the Genius Kids. He's such a genius. He's such an amazing guy, you know, with big dreams. So, you know, I, we used to have our own, you know, motor company here in Zimbabwe, like the likes of um, you know, Amtec, Wheel of Oak, um, Motor Company, this and that. Have you ever heard of those? Uh, yes. Oh, you know them? Tell me, tell me about that. Um, like Amtec, I know it does Mazda and um, Nissan. Mm, mm, very true. Yes. Oh, so you, you, you know, you know, you've been researching. So have you, have you been to their garages? Yes, I am actually done a review on the new Nissan Terra, mm -hmm. which is coming out soon, the sport edition. Mm -hmm. So, do you know some stuff about, about it? Uh, it has a three liter engine, but the, sporty, the sportier one, it's an SUV actually, mm -hmm. the sportier one has a 3.6 liter engine mm -hmm. and it pushes 395 horsepower. Wow, you're very, very intelligent, my guy. So in school, you know, how are you scoring or were you scoring in uh, in primary and primary i've been doing quite good grades because it wasn't and one thing i agree with my parents mm -hmm. if i need to do this i need to i need to get bigger grades and improve mm -hmm. so I what grades were you wishes. getting i've i i went from getting c's and mm -hmm. now i'm getting b's and a pluses and a pluses Wow. <laughs> so thank you. So now you're getting, you're going to Form 1. Yes. Which school are you going to be in? Peter House. Peter House. Ooh. Yeah. Peter House, please keep this genius for us. He has a big dream. So we really need to see him on the big screen doing wonders. Maybe we are about exporting you. No, we don't want to export you. We want those guys to come over here to say, we want to go and meet engineer Aiden. Okay. <laughs> Thank you so much, guys, for watching the Genius Kids. It has been nice. You know, so if you want to be part of this show or your child is an amazing one, or you think, no, he or she is such a genius, please uh, contact us on the numbers appearing on your screen. Uh, then you just call us, we respond to you. We bring your child here and get to talk to him or her. Thank you so much for watching. My name is DJ Ola7 on the Genius Kids. This is the Ola7 Podcast Show. Signing out. Bye-bye.